Yo, welcome back. Time for entertainment and the queen with the gist is here with me. Miss G. Hello. I miss you. I miss you so, so much. We haven't met on sets in a very long while. Quite a long while, but I'm sure you've been busy picking up, you know, on the latest, juiciest entertainment. Uh, exactly, 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 exactly. So when I say Sandra and Kobia, what comes to mind? Uh, well, fashion. Sandra <laughs> has a lot of work to do. You know, guess when I was speaking to her, I said, she's a fashionista. She says, no, lawyer first. It's difficult for that to stick with us, you know. Okay, okay. But the good news is that Sandra is going for the Vital Voices partnership with the U.S. State Department, Fortune uh, Women, Global Women, okay. Men's Range Program. Okay. Now, in Ghana, I know that Bridget Jubenuku, the uh, vice presidential candidate of the PPP, yes. and former Miss Ghana, yes. is one of the people who has been there. She was telling me that Juliette Asante yes. has also been there. Yes. So she is the next to go okay. for this women mentoring program okay. in the United States of America. But I'm sure you're asking yourself, how did she get that deal? Well, I'm sure she went through the process and she was uh, selected. Well, there's no process. She was actually nominated, handpicked. She tells us more. So basically, I was there one day and I got a phone call from the U.S. Embassy here. Like I said, U.S. Embassies um, all over the world pick or nominate people from the various countries where they are. So I got a phone call from them and um, they invited me for actually what they said, how they put it was that they wanted to have a conversation just to meet me, get to know me, get to know what I'm doing, what I'm up to, my goals, and um, basically just get to know me. So. I was a bit surprised. I was okay, why not? So I went, had a chat with them. And then when I left, I think um, a couple of days later, I got a, an email. So they were very happy to have met me and they were very impressed by me, by what I'm doing and um, what I'm aspiring to do. And they have this program, they explained it all to me and they think I'd be a, a great choice to go and experience it. And so they invited me to participate and of course I said yes. Of course you won't say no to this one, it's a big one. But then it means that since that experience with the U.S. Embassy, you knew that you needed, you needed to chart a different path for yourself. So we saw you during the elections, you know, oh, it you were... That. It, it was even after I did all the, um, all the, uh, the education mm -hmm. for um, the first time voters. It was after that. Wow. So I guess that was one of the things they were impressed by because mm. we spoke about that when I went to see them as well. Since my mentor is um, the first woman chairperson of the biggest law firm in America and one of the five biggest in the world, Morgan Lewis. Morgan Lewis and Bookius. Sandra has rebranded. <laughs> um, I have grown. I guess, yeah, that's a, a kind of rebranding, if you like to put it that way, but I, I've just grown. Um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. I've grown. I'm still growing, mm. but I, I have grown a lot over the last few years. But over the last few months, we haven't seen you actively participate in, you know, social functions or gatherings, the Ghana Music Awards, uh, the all the well, places you know, we see you, I, you know. I, yeah, I, I get what you mean. Yes, I haven't been to the Music Awards, I think, um, for the last two years. I've been in the past. I've seen it all in quotes. I mean, um, I wouldn't say that... Um, I don't go to social events or functions anymore. I, I do, but I think um, I've just become a bit more choosy with the events that I attend. So this is now a choosy Sandra Ancobia. She's very choosy with the events she attends. Uh -huh. You know, but while in life you have to be selective. And I mean, congratulations to her. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's supposed to build the capacity of women. So hopefully she'll be able to transfer mm -hmm. what she has learned. Definitely, definitely. Because Bridget did that when she came. She has a mentoring women program. Exactly. I was part of that in 2010. But again, when we talk about Sandra, everybody wants to hear. What has she got to say about payday? Who's payday? R2B's payday. Oh, the second half of R2B. Yes. What yes, is the yes, issue? Yes, I heard reports that she was dating him. Well, Sandra, are you dating Payday? And what do you have to say about all the stories? We Recently, there was a story that, you know, she actually was telling this reporter about the first day she and Payday got cozy in mm -hmm. bed. Mm -hmm. Asked her all that. She says, those are very, very irrelevant stuff. I, I definitely never said that. I would never say that. So, mm. I mean, like I said, I didn't even see that. I haven't heard that. I've been too focused on other more hey, important things. So, very important. Yeah, it's one of those things. You know. It's one of those things. You didn't say that, so that is clear. But then, 
I remember as well that PD had the chance to talk about you. He mentioned the fact that you guys had something going. We have seen pictures in the past. Is the growth uh, one that you know has affected that as well? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe you should be talking to Payday about uh -huh. this. I'm but not I've sure. seen pictures of you and him really? in same branded foods, um, branded shirts with your names behind it at a soccer oh, yeah, yeah. match. That was, that was, that, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that was a, a, so a soccer game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a long time ago. So I'm asking if the growth has also affected, you know... Affected me going to football matches? No, no not at all. affected I mean, maybe <laughs> the kind of uh, relationship you had with Payday. I have never spoken about a relationship that I have with Payday. Mm -hmm. But he has. So you, then you should be talking to so him. So you don't have anything to do with him? I think you should be talking to him about this. Well, you know, you know, it, it, though it's news to you, people also are interested in knowing because and people... I like to tell those people that mm. don't focus on that. It's not important. There are so many more important things that we should be focusing our energies on than talking about who's dating who or who's doing what. That's not important. Let's talk about how we can make a difference, the little bit that we can contribute in our own small ways to make a difference in our societies and in our country at large. So you're not talking about anything <laughs> that has got to do with him. People will be I'm disappointed. Not about anything that have to, just has to do with my private life. I don't see that. that okay, is so important. you want to say I that things like this is what impo what is important. Mm -hmm. Me going to be mentored by such successful women and being so inspired that I come back and pay it forward. These are the things that are important. Let's focus on those. Let's things. focus on that she's saying. But I'm sure if you check. Uh, after the story broke, if you check people's posts, one or two people have asked the question I'm asking you, and just to keep them quiet, the question, the that question that about PD. Nobody's I, I, asked me that. If they have, I haven't seen it. Well, if you see, have, because we... they do, I'll yeah. consider them very unserious. If you're looking at such a story and you want to be focusing on such an irrelevant topic, then I don't see you as a serious person and I won't even bother to, to respond. Well, that's an interesting conversation you have there. Mm -hmm. She says that she wants to focus more on the relevant stuff. Yeah. Yes. Well, I guess maybe a lot of people will be interested in her personal life because of the her social the post on her social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I guess she's moving away from that now. Which but you can't move away from things. That I think that the best thing is to address it once and for all. You know, it's in the past. I have moved on. Which and is nobody she's would ask the you. But she doesn't say that. She says it's irrelevant. I'm starting to think that... Is payday now irrelevant to Sandra? Wow. Or that's a question that remains to be answered. Exactly. But so right now just she's focused on her new gig. Well, and I congratulations told her. to her though. Well, congratulations once more. <laughs> I told her that she should come back and mentor me. <laughs> I hope that 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 is it. Um, but in Kumasi on uh, the Easter Monday, our sister station in Shura FM yeah. had a picnic for uh, holiday revelers. They went to Ankasi, mm -hmm. and we got excerpts of what happened there. <laughs> My old day now we put me away. Me dey me yet to be chau. We dey be jit and yet to be Gabremo and it to be. So me do ka cra o fa go pay. Pass na ya ma mate no see away. Many a dey pee say my new program. It's my first time. First time I me pass. But many a dey pass. Me me ya cra bu na. We share from organize program every month. Come in the budget. I me the budget pay pass. One year one month one month year. In fact many a dey. I been woo me now for me.
<laughs> Did you see the guy's moves? Or was it a lady? It's a lady. A lady's move. The lady's move. You know. Can I'm you thinking, beat that? Can you beat I'm that? I'm not sure I can dance anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure I can dance. Looking at what she is doing with her body, I'm not sure I can dance anymore. But you know that um Kofi Ajolo spoke to Becky some days ago mm -hmm. and talked about the fact that he sounded like he wasn't happy that his Fiancé, um, Victoria Lebanon Mekpa, traveled to Kuru and had Abeku Santana hold her waist to help her through the mystical cave. Oh, my goodness. So, Abeku was asked by Doreen Avio what the relationship between himself and uh, Lebanon is, and here's his response. We went to Kuo and discovered the Kuo Trinidrasi Mystical Cave. And you can't get into the cave with an aid of a steps or anything. There's a rope. And when you are descending, you come to the same procedure. And it had rained, so the ground were a bit slippery. So I had to hold the rope at the tail end so that those who are coming, I received them. Not only Victoria, I received all those who came out of the cave. It was just your picture, you and Victoria's picture oh, that came out. If you out. follow me on Instagram, you see other photos of um, other you know tourists that I help them to descend mm -hmm. so Victoria is not an exception but have you based on that have you seen the speculations or the reaction from people because now it looks like there's something going on between you oh, and Victoria no, no. There's that, yes indeed something is going on between me and Victoria and that is business the radio business if you saw us in that position um, it's nothing bad because it was public and uh, people saw what we're doing don't you think maybe her fiance Kofia Jololo will not be happy about so where that was Kofi where was Kofi Kofi Ajololo please take up your responsibility as the boyfriend or the fiance of Victoria Lebanon because I mean she's always around us but you know he thanked you in an interview with one of my colleagues oh, uh, for smiling, taking smiling care of for taking care of Victoria how does that make you feel no he's saying thank you to you oh yes uncle Kofi you know I'll do anything to support you and Victoria is not an exception anything that you want um, she, uh, he knows what I've been doing for Victoria trying to manage her brand trying to you know coach and guide her what to do what not to do so it's all in the interest of the industry and Kofi Ajolo knows very well that Victoria Lebene is a supporting team member of OKFM I mean, Total Showbiz. Nothing more, nothing less. So, nothing more, nothing, nothing less. less. That's the relationship well, he has got. It with... did look kind of suspicious, the pictures, if you saw it. Well, that's why Kofi got really worried per the interview he had with Becky. But Lebene has been ill after that interview. She tells me every time, I'm not feeling well. They admitted me, this and that. And that. But we're definitely going to hear her say something. So, Kofi, in that interview with Becky, mm. had a song for Victoria Lebene, I suppose. And here's the song. Is our wedding happening? Oh, we can hear the song, but it's Davido's If, the song, the newest song by Davido If. If I tell you, say oh. I love you. <laughs> my money, <laughs> my money, <laughs> now you're on. Where is he from? What Wait. message is he trying to, you know? Uh, he says he's told her he loves her. Okay. So she has to believe him. You know, in the interview, he said his mother knows. His mother is in the grave, but his mother knows that he never tells lies. Okay. So it means that Lebanon is breaking his heart. Well, I honestly hope that this is just, a, you know, something that will just blow away because it's I mean, taking really, too long. It's not. It, it's it, taking it too should, long. It shouldn't break. I think they should just be bold enough to tell us what is really happening. I, I suspect that, you know, Lebanon is pulling off gradually and Kofi's heart is getting broken by the minute but well there is a huge age uh, difference between about them. 40 years difference but oh. she knew that when she went promising the year uh, at the old man <laughs> she knew that when he came to her she knew that when we were taking pictures all around telling graphic showbiz what they wanted to do with their lives she knew that 
What changed? I'm so sorry, but I'm sad for Kofia Jolulu. I don't know what people think, but I'm sad for Kofia Jolulu. But he also knew what, you know, was about to happen. He's a man. A man is always trying, you know, <laughs> I got to say. But the president once more has shown his dancing skills. You know, <laughs> and now this time around it was the Accra Rotary uh, Club yeah. having a meeting. And yeah. he was there with his wife. And he danced to Bisakeda's Mansan. Highly spiritual. All right, so that's uh, the president of the land grooving to the Mansa beat. He's quite I want good. to learn that skill, you know. There's a way he... <laughs> well, anyway. I guess maybe he, he can't move his whole body, so he tries to move some part of his body. But it's all oh, good. Oh, we better to play you see. Or dancing with skills, you yes, know. Yes. Anyway, so that'll be for entertainment. I don't know when we're going to have to hear a Kofia Jolulu's If, but if we don't get to hear it, I'm sure that you can go watch it on myjoyonline.com. It is there, and you get to hear Kofi Adjilu singing that song perfectly well. So, that'll be it. See you on so Monday. So, where are you headed this evening? It's a oh, Friday. Oh, this evening. It's a Friday. I'm stepping out. Maybe I'm going to take some pictures at the mall. <laughs> the Kumasi mall, you mean? <laughs> oh, are you talking about the mall or the mall? <laughs> Let's not go there. Mm. All right. Thank you very much, Miss G. And that's it for entertainment. But we'll be back with sports. Don't go away. Mm -hmm.